guys, I'm Damesies from the Omnic Post with an update on Overwatch 2. One of the most requested features for Overwatch and which was already confirmed for Overwatch 2 is cross progression. And today we got an update on how that will work. But first let me explain what it is for the people that are not aware. We have had cross play, which is different from cross progression, for a while now in Overwatch. So players on both console and PC have been able to group up in the same games for over a year now. In all game modes except competitive, which kind of makes sense. But the one thing they were still missing is cross progression, which basically centralizes all of your progression, your settings, your cosmetics, and your currencies in one place. This allows players to access any of it on all platforms. So you could unlock a skin on PC and equip it to use it at your next PlayStation session. And an Overwatch 2 will have a battle pass and an in-game shop that also will be included in that cross progression. Why would they do that? Well, there's still plenty of people that play on different platforms for different reasons, and this way they can get the same experience everywhere. It is pretty neat. Now starting August 16, which is today, you will be prompted on your console account to link it up to a new or existing Battle.net account. Because Battle.net will be where they'll centralize all of your data. You can merge one account per platform together. Be careful though, you need to choose wisely because you can unlink them, but there's a one year cooldown on linking them again. That's long. Now let me answer some of the questions that I've been getting over the last six months. Or ever since we knew cross progression was going to be in Overwatch 2. First off, all of your cosmetics will be thrown together on that one account. So if you got yourself a Pink Mercy on one account and some Overwatch League skin on another, you'll have both of them on all platforms. I think that's pretty clear and obvious, right? Now the items you have on both accounts will be merged into one. Blizzard did not address any type of compensation for people that bought stuff on both accounts, like the same skins. And I do think people will ask questions about that. But to be honest, I think that is really difficult to fix. And in the end, I mean, you'll still have the skin on both accounts. Currencies will be summed after they merge your accounts. Your gameplay settings, your skill rating, and your statistics will be separate per input tool, or in other words, PC and console. Now, they also mentioned endorsement, that it's basically going to be the highest one that counts. But up till now, we have not seen a confirmation of that returning to Overwatch 2. Is this it? Is this the confirmation? We'll see. Now, there is a full FAQ over on the Overwatch website. I'll leave a link below so you can check it for yourself. Now, before I go, I want to make one thing really clear. You can link your accounts already today, preparing them for the merger. But the actual merger and the cross progression isn't starting till October 4th when Overwatch 2 releases. So after you link your accounts later today, you will not see all of the skins pop up on all platforms. Not yet. Be patient, my friends. Anyways, are you looking forward to cross progression and how many accounts are you going to be linking? Let me know in the comments. Join me during my streams on twitch.tv slash and make sure to subscribe for more updates on Overwatch.